I'm General Rick Hillier, proud Newfoundlander, patriotic Canadian, lifelong soldier, and former Chief of Defence Staff for Canada. I think many leaders in history, the great leaders in history, have been gifted leaders. But even with that gift of leadership, like Churchill, there was still an incredible amount of preparation that allowed him to be successful in a way that most of us have certainly cannot imagine. I have never found myself as a leader that there is a replacement for elbow grease. I actually believe that the vast majority of people can be leaders, and indeed that was one of our tenets in the Canadian Forces. Every one of our 100,000 men and women in uniform were leaders. We all signed on to our great purpose, and whenever there was a void, we expected each and every one of us to step up. Natural leaders are out there, but preparation makes them better. The normal man and woman like myself, uh, it took an extra amount of preparation to get us into the leadership roles and to be able to accomplish it. But you work hard, you study, you learn from your mistakes, and you really do want to do that. You observe things, and then you learn from those things, and then you take the observations and the learning, and you use that to change the way that you lead. We did all of that for months and years, and I think it made all of us better leaders, and I would recommend it to everybody. Well, the 95-5 rule is quite simply a way of ensuring that people Leaders focus on those who make them successful. Everybody who's been a leader can understand how you can get sucked down a road uh, with problem children, as we used to describe them, those who drag your organization down, those who are not up to doing the job, those who are either disciplinary or administrative problems. And if you're not careful as a leader, all of a sudden you can wake up someday and realize that you're spending 95 or more percent of your time focused on the two, three, four, or five percent of the people who drag you down. And what you've got to do is make sure you reset and spend 95 percent of the time focusing on the 95 percent of the people who make you successful. Yes, give those who are not up to, to standard a chance to improve, a chance to be able to do the job, a chance to reset themselves, but if they cannot do that and do it fairly quickly, then get rid of them from your organization because they will drag you down. Spend 95 percent of your time or more looking after the 95% of the people in your organization who actually make you successful. I believe that leaders who prepare well, who have that purpose, who inspire people to move towards implementing that purpose or achieving their mission, who provide a great personal example, who set a base of values and principles, have set up what is really an effective risk management program. Because people understand what they're doing, they're less prone to make mistakes, and you're, less, you're gonna have less risks. Uh, if people don't have those things, if they don't have the purpose, if they have not been enabled and empowered, and if you have not set the good personal example on a basis of values and principles, then what you try to do is handle each of those separately by keeping complete control of them, and therefore, you start to get into a risk aversion mode. You're afraid to let things happen because it could go wrong, and that's when you start to become non-competitive. Well, when I say tactics without strategy brings failure, what I mean is everybody aspires to be something greater than they are themselves as an individual. Nobody wants to be born Rick Hillier, grow up Rick Hillier, and simply die as Rick Hillier, never having achieved anything. And leaders give them the opportunity to achieve. And that's what people do want. And they look for that greater purpose. They look for that vision, that mission, as I said earlier on. And they want to achieve things. So if you can provide them that strategic framework, so that they understand where, where they fit in, what their role is, and what all their work is gonna add up to in perhaps the coming months or years, then they are gonna be incredibly effective for you and be able to help you achieve your, your purpose and be able to help you become successful. So if you can think strategically, if you can articulate that purpose, and if you can get those who want to follow you to make it their purpose, you've thought strategically and you've provided the tools for people to work tactically and you're gonna be successful as a leader.